Why is there so much kinship between NBA moms? I mean, y'all come from very different places, and yet you get in a room, y'all, you're like family all of a sudden. It's just a sisterhood that no other mother really knows what we go through. Being mothers are professional athletes, so I think that's what it's about. In the NBA is this culture where it seems as if players really honor their moms. They put their moms front and center a lot. Well, why do you think that is? Well, they are, you know, they us. They're, you know, little mini me's, really. And we raised them, so it's like you gotta give credit what credit is due. I mean, Kevin, of course, crystallized all of that when he did the real MVP. You made us believe. You sacrificed for us. You're the real MVP. They know who was there with them, who kind of pushed them when they wanted to quit and give up. And, and we know sometimes when they cry, no one else knows about that. And so, it, it, you know, they just want to show us that they honor us. I thought it was wonderful. I mean, I, there's so many things pulling at them and distractions. And so it is good to be honored. You know, I need to go have a talk with Steph. And he's had two times to call me the MVP, too. <laughs> so do something. I mean, he's thanked you. I do want to I do want to stick up for Steph a little bit. He said lovely things no, about you. We're competitive, too. But yeah. they get that, you know? I want to ask you guys about how you are at games. Who is the loudest? Probably me. <laughs> you think? I think so. I think what people don't know about us is that we love the game. So we're very competitive, and we come to not only support our children, but to watch the games. Fires away. Wow! Another three for Curry. For me, this year, wow has been so different. Because Kevin has been loved at home and away. But this year, oh, I see how quickly love turns to something else. It was really difficult to hear some of the things that were said about my son. And I said a couple of choice things back. <laughs> I think the mama bear in me kind of rose up because I know who my son is as a man. All they knew is I'm Kevin Durant's mother, but they don't know Wanda from the South Side. So <laughs> then I had to remember that this NBA life is really not my life. I've been invited into this world by my son and everything that I do, it reflects on him either way. And so I'm very mindful of that. So I had to kind of kind of troll them and tell them that I enjoy cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about social media. People can say anything to your kid, to you on social media. What have you had to learn about dealing with that? <laughs> I don't I, do social media. <laughs> Period. So I just shut it down. I, oh, I love Mary on social media. <laughs> Draymond Green, we understand that his mother, Mary Baber Green, is a high volume tweeter. And this was her tweet moments ago. Why are we playing sloppy ball? Do not give them life. I actually toned it down a lot because of Drake. Let me tell you how many times I delete a message. I'd be like, <laughs> delete. I was raised by Mary Babers in the Babers family. That's what you do. You speak your mind. He is just like his mama. His mama raised him. Do you guys coach your boys at all? I still do. I still will text Stefan. It'll be halftime. Boy, do this. What are you doing? Come on now. But I think he appreciates it because, again, it's my way of being present mm -hmm. with him. And sometimes he'll text back. <laughs> and I'll say, well, Kevin, I think you should drive more. I think you're shooting too many threes. And he'll say, well, Ma, I got this. I said, well, it doesn't look like it to me. <laughs> I do. Yeah. All day. Yep. Tell them all the time, your body language suck. You know, <laughs> it stinks. So, the, you know, it make the other guys play because they feed off your energy. And then next thing you know, they come out there, turn around the second half, be something like you, like, wow. Yeah, the play from this season was that pass that Dre threw to Steph, and Steph got it to, to Durant. Durant on the follow! That was one of the best plays from this season. The pressure on this team is pretty off the charts. How do they experience it, and how do you experience that through them? Well, I probably added to it at the beginning of the season. I was like, what in the world are y'all doing stuff? <laughs> He's like, Mom, we got to get used to each other. Well, I don't know. Y'all need to hurry up, because y'all look terrible. <laughs> we have these high expectations yeah. of them, and we want it to happen right now, uh, and, and to validate all the decisions that were yes. made. And, because that was a big decision for Kevin. 
what will it mean to you guys if at the end of all of this, they are sitting there having that parade as champions? I think I'm looking the forward first to one for us, though, it snuck up on us. Like, it was like, we actually won. Yeah. And so then I think that's what was so disappointing last year is you went into it with the expectation you were gonna mm -hmm. get it, mm -hmm. you know? No doubt we're gonna get this ring. And so this year, you know, trying to temper that a little bit, mm -hmm. nothing can be taken for granted, but when, just for the guys, just for them, and to see them at the end of this, when they win, um, It'd just be awesome. I want this so badly for um, Kevin and the team. I, I really do. I mean, the, all the childhood dreams, all the years of hard work. And then I want to be a mother say, yeah, my son is an NBA champion. All right, we got to have a Mother's Day toast. To the real Day's MVP. Toast. That's right, all the real MVPs. <laughs> Fantastic. Happy Mother's Day.